Typically, a bucket list is a compilation of things you want to do before you die, but why wait till you're dying to start living? I have 25 things I want to do before I turn 25, which means I have less than one year to do it all. This next thing on the list is going to be a story I'm ready to share. I've had a secret that I've been lying about my whole life, and I recently entered an essay contest about a piece of clothing that changed your life. And my essay revolved around the secret, and I've decided now that it's better to own it than to be owned by it. The scary thing is putting it out there, because being honest about it means not being able to lie anymore. So here it is. When it comes to bathing suits, my mother gave me this nugget of fashion advice. If it makes you look good, it's worth whatever the price because you are relying on the tiniest scraps of fabric to highlight you in the most exposed of times. But for years, it didn't matter to me. It could have been the world's most beautiful, flattering suit, but if it was a two-piece, it wasn't a contender. Even modest tankinis made me uncomfortable, that sliver of skin right around your stomach that always made me cringe. It was that flash of skin that always seemed to catch people's eyes. Was it a scar, a burn? skin transplant? Why people thought it was okay to ask me about it, I'll never know. The answer was always no, no, and no. It's vitiligo. It's an autoimmune disorder that changed my olive skin into a milky white shape, not unlike that of Africa. The continental outline starts from below my belly button, runs across my stomach, and wraps around my waist like a lazy side hug. I hated pool parties, swim lessons, boating. I made up excuses. I faked sick. I got out of gym class. When the situation couldn't be avoided, I relied on a trusty red, one-piece, plain Jane racerback speedo. I wore it until it pilled and frayed and the elastic gave out. Old Faithful was then replaced by her sister in a black version who lived the same drawn-out life. Then unfortunately, as so many girls know, came that point when it was strange to be that girl in the one-piece when everyone else was prancing around in bikinis. I have a very clear memory of looking at a perfume ad in a magazine and not being able to understand why the bikini-clad model looked so strange. In a moment of clarity, I knew why. Her stomach was only one color. She didn't have any watercolor splashes of lighter pigment staining her. She was perfect, and I wasn't. By eighth grade, I was already an awkward teen. I had braces and glasses and my hair that fell in a perfect frizzy triangle around my head. Miraculously, I had been invited to a popular girl's birthday party. Her mom had booked a hotel room for the five other girls and myself, but the catch being, it was a dreaded pool party. Why I finally RSVP'd yes to that one, I'll never be totally sure. It could have been my host's social standing, for as shallow as that sounds, hoping that some of her popularity would insulate me against my own insecurities. Or maybe I was just always tired of missing out. My mother drove me to Target to find a swimsuit that I might be comfortable in. The usual suspects were all there. The two childish little girl styles, the two hippie old lady one pieces with all the extra bosom support a flat chested teen could never use, and the endless rows of shiny bright bikinis. Trying on swimsuits was sheer anxiety, as if the vitiligo wasn't paralyzing enough with the unflattering lights and the fingerprinted mirrors. I always went in expecting defeat. Every try on was met with my awkward modeling. Maybe if I slung my arm this way, or if I twisted my torso that way, maybe if I never took off my cover-up. There wasn't a pose that didn't make me look like I had a broken arm or was perpetually constipated. On a last-ditch effort, I pulled a lilac two-piece. It was sprinkled with little flowers. It was sweet and simple, like the pattern you would find on a baby's quilt. It was a halter top, standard bottom, very no-nonsense. I put it on expecting nothing to be resolved. And then, I swear, the lighting got a little brighter, the mirrors got a little cleaner, and the vitiligo faded a little bit. The swimsuit wasn't bad, and to me, that would have to be good enough. I went to the party swimsuit in hand. It was ironic that my choice of armor exposed my weakness, but for once, it gave me a hint of confidence. As usual, I was the last one in the pool. I was waiting until everyone was distracted so I could slip in unnoticed. We horsed around, splashing each other, dunking each other, and for a while, I forgot about my secret. For once, it was the last thing on my mind when it finally came up. 
One girl from the group pointed at my stomach in front of everyone and asked what that thing was. I coolly lied my birthmark, and that was that. The swimsuit didn't give me total confidence, but just enough to fake it till much later, I could honestly make it. I held on to that swimsuit for years. It loyally saw me through high school and into college. The time came to toss her away when the fabric had stretched out and the colors faded. The suit wasn't my cure-all. I kept fluctuating back and forth with how comfortable I was exposing my secret. Sometimes I'd wear the bikini with a so what attitude and sometimes I'd be right back to canceling plans at the last minute. But for a girl who spent her childhood calculating how to get out of waterlogged social events, I had a newfound sense of chlorinated freedom. That swimsuit stripped me down and built me back up. It took almost being naked to finally begin feeling comfortable in my own multicolored skin. The cat is out of the bag, so for everyone whose party I never went to, now you know why. Unless it was because I just didn't like you, but 99% of the time I was just too embarrassed to go. Now that it's out and I'm making peace with it, I can check this off the list. So, I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Thank you for calling your GED pep talk center. All right, now, are you ready for your GED pep talk? Being nervous is okay. It just shows that you're serious about getting your diploma. A lot of things are scary. Heck, I'm scared of clowns. No quiero ir. Then no lo puedo hacer. DMC, liking your pep talk style. Just keeping it real, Deb, just keeping it real. Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. Kids will spend eight minutes decorating their little brother. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. It's no fairy tale that the right fit means everything, especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. That does make a difference. <laughs> to find out more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Packers. Viking. Packers. Viking. Packers. Viking. Red state. Blue state. Vegan. Carnivore. We come from different places. Uptown. Downtown. Night Owl. Early bird. We come to different conclusions. Half empty. Half full. But when we live united, we create real, lasting change in the building blocks of life. The education, income, and health of our communities, <laughs> our families, united. even the person next to us. Live united. Real change won't happen without you. <laughs> so give, advocate, volunteer. Live united. Sign up at liveunited.org. The last thing on the list started as a joke. It was kind of like everyone was like, oh, you should go get a tattoo. And I was like, yeah, I'll go get a tattoo, totally. I can't think of anything that I'm going to love long enough to permanently put on my body. And then I thought, with the show wrapping up, it would be nice to have something, a little permanent souvenir of everything that we've gone through, of what we've actually pulled off. So I think it's time to go get a little ink. 
I have Nate here with me. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Yeah, no I'm problem. sorry this is going to be the dinkiest tattoo you've ever done in your entire life. <laughs> it won't be much of a challenge, but talking me down might be. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> what can I expect? <laughs> um, it should be really quick, so it shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem. Quick, like... 10 minutes? Quick mm, like... Yeah, probably even less than 10 minutes. Okay. I mean, That's sweet cheering. It'll take more time to get set up. <laughs> Which is what you're doing right now. Yeah. What are we looking at? These things look pretty intimidating. It's like going to the dentist. Uh, we're just breaking out like disposable needle, mm. disposable tube. What? Eh, not a huge fan yeah. of needles. <laughs> How long oh. have you been working here for? Um, For about a year now. Okay. We'll get you started. I don't know, it's pretty much just getting a tattoo and learning more about it. I've always like, liked drawing and uh, art, and even as early as I can remember, I used to like love like, drawing on people, and I didn't even know that really? there was like, anything close to tattooing. But <laughs> I heard that giving a tattoo, it's like if you give a mouse a cookie kind of thing. Like you get one tattoo, and then you're like, maybe I should get another one. Am I going to be here next week? Yeah. What is it? Is it an addiction? Yeah, definitely. All right, so we're going right here. I'm shaking right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. What's the scoop? Um, it's the stencil stuff. It's gonna transfer the, uh, the stencil on your skin. Okay. That's fast. Am I good to go? Can I just go yep. after this? Yep. All right. Never See wash ya. it. <laughs> <laughs> Live a very dirty life. Look at that shaking. <laughs> all right. It'll be all right. Tell me a story. I'm sure you've had much worse pain. I don't know. What? What What's would the you worst? Compare to? What's the worst pain that you've had, do you think? I don't know. I've never given birth to a child or Whoa. broken any bones. I don't know what to compare this to. Heartbreak? Does that count? Either. Sure, yeah, that's more painful. <laughs> Is there any tattoo that you're just tired of doing? Like, no more hearts, no more butterflies. Symbols. You're over it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell people it's enough. It's cliche yeah. now. Okay. Yes. Don't get an infinity symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with just a little bit, let you get the feel for it. Okay. If you need me to stop at any time, you can just say stop. Okay. Oh, I wish I'd had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> that noise isn't reassuring. I'll start with just a little tiny bit. Okay. Just to let you feel give me a dot. Just pretty much a dot. Just give me a dot. Okay. Alright. All right. Oh, okay. That was one dot? That was, yeah. Okay. We can do this. You got this. Mm -hmm. Not loving it, but it's okay. So, how many tattoos do you have? Um, a lot. It looks like. Yeah, I got a lot that you can't see and stuff. But I think I'm on about like 20 or so. 20. Yeah. Oh, so you've done some on yourself, I take it. Yep. Just the, the only like two that uh, I've shown you. So, when you tattoo yourself, do you have to psych yourself up for it? Like, okay, I'm gonna go over this part now, and it's gonna hurt. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's different to focus on like the pain and doing the tattoo at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've tried waxing my legs before, and I have to psych myself up for every pull to be like, okay, here we go, one more, <laughs> one more. I can't imagine tattooing myself. In the face and stuff. That I drank before, <laughs> let me tell you. Mm. With music and fashion, things come in and out of trend. Are there trends in tattoos too? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. What have you seen a lot of recently? Like infinity symbols. I know uh, you're over the infinity symbols. Everyone wants lettering. Like initials? No, like uh, some kind of just a quote or something. I blame Pinterest for that. Yeah, that's what we call them actually, Pinterest tattoos. Oh no, really? Yeah. You're done. <gasps> you still got a little bit of a stencil, really uh, sting, but that only shot. It's beautiful. Shot, so it's it's just what I wanted. When we came in, there was a guy sitting next to us over there, and his tattoo artist was like, oh, you know, there might be some blood and plasma rushing out later, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Will I have to worry about blood and plasma coming out? No, okay. not really too much, no. Too much? I don't, I don't think you will. Okay. Oh, look at that. I can officially check that off the list.
Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. Looks good. You ready to try it? Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's OK. OK. And she took another sip. You saw it. Search We Can for ideas on how to get healthy together. So I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. up on sex don't give up on birth control either there are more methods than you think find yours at bedsider.org you realize that 49 million americans struggle with hunger that's one out of every six americans these people are around us every day they're our friends they're our co-workers their kids go to school with our kids sometimes we're not even aware that they're struggling this problem is closer than you think but so is the solution Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Aww. <laughs> you should pick that up. Every day, kids <laughs> witness bullying. For you. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. You're less dainty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just a burp. <laughs> okay, and then we, oh, we're gonna end up with a devil card. Okay, oh. let's take a look at Did that. Is that gonna turn for the worst? <laughs> uh, well. And swing over. Watching these little sparks fly. Yeah. Uh, yes! Uh, yes! <laughs> it went down! It went down! It happened! Thank you! I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! Sorry! <laughs> it might not be Paris, it might not be New York, but something on my list to do has always been to go see a fashion show. Adam.
good. Attack sound. Let's go. Knee, let's go. Come on. Make some noise. Make some noise. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Be a survivor. Don't stop. That one feels a little weird, the last one. Kind of heavy or achy? A little achy. Good. Oh, lefty and loosey. Maybe this is something for you to do. I see a little ant. Yeah, that would be a great food source. Protein. Here, you first. You first. Uh, there's only enough for one. <laughs> now legs wide. Straight wide legs. There you go. Arch the back. Arch the back. Release. Ah! You're a star. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the continental outline starts from below my belly button, runs across my stomach, and wraps around my waist like a lazy side hug. Not loving it, but... Normally this is the part of the show where I say, you can chart my progress on Facebook's home TV, Andrea Mantacunas, but guess what? All 25 things have been checked off. We are officially done. I want to give a huge thank you to all the businesses and individuals who let me follow them around so I could get these things off the list. I want to give a big, big thank you to all my friends and family who supported me through all of this, but I owe a huge debt to the home TV team who stuck with me through this through thick and thin, through the late nights editing and the early mornings to get all of this done. Thank you for making my dream come true. This is my favorite shoot that we've done so far. You're fine. Okay. You what did you do? You. I just stabbed him in the neck. I have pepper spray, and I thought I was being such a well-informed consumer by taking it out and testing it without realizing of where I was standing in relation to the wind. And they That's... came right back at me. I can tell you how much it hurt. <laughs> Why are you still eating it? <laughs> Why are you still eating it? <laughs> we are not on good terms. <laughs> ah, spider on that one. No one died, no one died. So you're doing great. I, I think we're ready to go out on the main road. What? No! Ready for this? No. <laughs> not at all. I didn't realize it was going to be over the swamp of doom. How would it be like over a grassy knoll? I once milked a goat in Greece and we had something that looked just like this. <laughs> How would I fight back from this? Because I wear my hair in a ponytail nine out of ten times. I thought we were going to shave your head after this. Oh, well, before we do that. No? Okay. <laughs> My last career. Just in case, in case we don't have time, you know, for the... Yeah. Preventative. Yeah. I see a new business for us, Karen. <laughs> 50 ways to prepare your grubs. Yeah, right. <laughs> Worms for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right, exactly. <laughs> this, this is tough. This is dinky. Ta-da! No one fell. No one fell. You are doing fantastic. I am so impressed right now. Yeah, there we go. Woo! <laughs> success. Sweet smell of success.